Alright, so you know what it is. Today we're taking a look at an $1100 RTX 4070 Super Gaming PC build. So yeah, you know what it is. The RTX 4070 Super is pretty much a 3080 Ti rebranded, but with pretty much the same specs and the latest NVIDIA features, like the LSS3. So yeah, the 12600K will do fine with a GPU like that when it comes to 1080p, 1440p gaming. So this would do as a great 1440p gaming PC. Check out the links in the description because that really helps me out a ton. And please press on that like button. With Without wasting any further ado, let's get to the parts. And the CPU we're looking at the Intel uh, Core i5-12600K. Now I've talked before about this CPU and how good it is when it comes to the performance that it provides, score count, and uh, yeah, really gets the job done for $180. You have an upgrade pass to something like a 14700K, 14900K, which is a joint one of the uh, most popular or fastest CPUs that you can get right now, but you will not do overclocking because again, this is a budget PC and overclocking will require a lot of wattage. The board we're looking at the B760M from Gigabyte DS3H and the reason we went with that because uh, yeah this is a really decent board it has solid VRMs it's on a budget got 4 RAM slots it supports DDR4 we're not going DDR5 because the, the difference isn't worth it and it will result in more money and if it resulted in more money you should just altogether go with the Ryzen system but anywho taking a look at what it is a DDR4 system on the i5-600K is more than enough and you got the upgrade pass to the 4900K even but again no overclocking RAM we're looking at 32 GB of so DDR4 3200 megahertz RAM from i believe silicon power because uh, 32 gigs is more than enough for gaming video editing streaming you name it uh, 16 gigs is more than enough for gaming still like you, you haven't pushed 16 gigs to the limit yet so yeah this is why we went with 32 gigs it gets the job done and you really uh, are good to go there for 55 bucks the ssd we're looking at one terabyte and the two ssd pcie gen 4 and this is why pcie gen 4 is the fast boot up times with good loading speeds it's not the highest end uh, gen 4 ssd out here but yeah you are getting the bleeding edge when it comes to the technology and when it comes to speed ratings the gpu you know what it is we're looking at the rtx 4070 super now the 4070 super is pretty much a 4070 ti it's got around the same performance you're looking at five to ten percent difference and if you want the extra bump you can easily overclock this uh, gpu but you're not getting the big bump you're just getting more uh wattage consumption so yeah i wouldn't do it myself but if you really need that extra bump of performance you can do so but given what it is the rtx 4070 super acts true as one of the best uh gpus from nvidia at least that would do for 1080p 1440p gaming it's uh, a competitor to the 16 gigs 7800 xt i can't see it any other way and it's cheaper than the 4070 ti and provide the same performance so that's why it's a good uh, gpu in general as for the case we're looking at the bit phoenix case this is the mesh m the one that goes for around 60 dollars this pc is for 1100 dollars that's why we didn't actually go premium this time when it comes to a case so yeah good ventilation uh good airflow in general in general you know okay cable management i wouldn't say it's the best but it gets the job done the power supply will look at the thermal uh, take i believe 750 or maybe 700 watt 80 plus gold so i have a power supply like that one running the rtx 3080 which is uh, uh as actually power hungry as this gpu once you do over under volting but if you're not doing under volting it would get the job done just fine so yeah you are getting what you're paying for there so yeah that's been it if you like the video press on that like button if you want to see more of that can subscribe and again check out the links in the description because that helps me out a ton see you on the next one and peace